Wow, I can go live with it again. That's wonderful. Well, hey, um, so I'm going to, I wasn't really prepared. I didn't think it was going to work. Well, okay. Let's get started then. Um, this is the weekend closest to October 3rd, Saturday. The third is Monday. The third will be the 25th. This is 2022. This will be the 25th anniversary of the strike of 97. As one of the original you know, people who was there, I'll tell you, I was there before. I was on strike before anybody else, to be honest. Uh, I went out on stress. My partner got hurt, um, Ben Buskirk, Greg Ben Buskirk. And, uh, six months before the strike, I went out on stress. I came back after four months, right, two months before the strike, and they asked me, why are you coming back? You know, I still had benefits left and everything. And I told them, and this is on record, I have to come back and make sure the strike happens. So I did, and the strike happened. And the rest is history, and this is 25 years later. And I, uh, in the history since I put on a five-year commemoration of the strike on October 5th, five years. And at the 10-year mark, I put on a shingling at the hall, arranged it and everything. I had helped a little bit. Um, the 15-year, same thing. And the 20-year. I was actually president of the union then, and we had a nice little shingling in the park. And this is the 25 year. No one, no one will even talk to me. All my people who were friends of mine out there, or friends on Facebook, or what I've unfriended, won't say why, won't talk to me, won't answer personal messages, won't answer the phone. So there it is. I'm reaching out to some folks. And it's kind of heartbreaking, to be honest with you. Anyway, I intend to do a show. I'm just going to load up the trike and go to the park, the Steelworkers Park, maybe, and do a show. I'm leaving today Yeah, I'm on my way I'm going back Where I was And I don't care No, I don't care How long it takes me to get there The path is before me and I shall have no fear for once in my life my destiny is clear yeah I'm on my way leaving today for Union Town Union Town Union Town right back where I started Union Town the mind walk on that union town Well, I can't wait to be back with all my friends In Union Town, Union Town, Union Town Now there'll be handshakes and hugs and a lot of love When I get back to my family Now my brothers and sisters who really care Are waiting there for me and love, yeah, love, they got a lot of love in Uniontown. I can't wait, no, I can't wait to be back with all my friends. And I'm on my way, leaving today for Uniontown, Uniontown, Uniontown. Right back where I started, Uniontown. 
Because this is today, this used to play and played for, I guess, about 10 years on the public access channel, about four times a day. It was a movie uh, forged, forged in steel, forged in iron. There was two movies. This was the first one that they copied because it was so popular. Anyway, I wrote music for it. It was on the album. And uh, so a lot of folks should be familiar with this song. It's called Ballad for the Steelworker. It played, you know, all the time on Pueblo radio TV. Sweet. 
fight for ourselves. And when we won justice for ourselves, the victory will be for everyone, everywhere. And united we stand, divided we fall. Until it hurts, if they love you, and then they'll stop. So don't you mess with that union. Guaranteed, that's something you don't want to do. Because there's iron in that steel worker union forged in the hearts of the common working folk. Where love and hate are life and death. And brother and sister, that ain't no joke. And if we honor seniority, then we honor also. If we love our brothers and sisters, then we love ourselves. And if we fight for democracy, at least we fight for ourselves. And when we won justice for ourselves, the victory will be for everyone.
and a smile for I've come to talk with you again about a vision softly creeping that left its seat while I was sleeping and the vision it planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence in restless dreams I walk along narrow streets of cobblestone Beneath the halo of a street lamp I turn my collar to the cold and damp When my eyes are stabbed By the flash of a neon light That splits the night And touches the sun Of silence In the naked light I see Everyone around me Talking without speaking Hearing without listening Writing songs That voices never share And no one dare Disturb the sound Of silence Fools say I you do not know Silence like a cancer grows Hear my words that I might teach you Touch my hands that I might reach you But my words Like silent raindrops fall And echo In the well Of oh, silence And the people bow and The neon god they make And the sign flashes out its soaring In the words that it is forming And the words say that the prophets are written on the subway walls And tenement halls And echoes In the sound Of silence In the morning, you hear the wood bell ring, and they march into the table to see the same old thing. Ain't no food upon the table, ain't no fork upon the But you better not complain, no You'll get in trouble with the man Let the midnight special Shine a light on me Let the midnight special Shine a light on me If you're ever in Pueblo, you better do it right. You better not gamble, yeah, you better not fight. Cause the meat is waiting, we'll bring you down. The next thing you know, Let the midnight special shine a light on me. Yeah, let the midnight special shine a light on me. Gonna 
come is frozen. How in the world did you know? Say by the way she went right through. In those clothes she wore. Umbrella on her shoulder. Piece of paper in her hand. Gonna see the governor. Gonna free her man. At the midnight special, shine a light on me. Oh, at the midnight special, shine the ever loving light on me. At the midnight. My 
I couldn't feel, so I learned to touch. You know, I told the truth. I didn't come here just to fool ya. And even though it all went wrong, I'll stand here before the Lord of Song with nothing on my tongue but hallelujah. 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 a God above, but all I ever learned from love was how to shoot at someone who outdrew ya. And it's not a cry that you'll hear at night, it's not somebody who's seen the light, it's a cold and broken hallelujah. There was a sacred chord that David played, and it pleased the Lord, but the truth is, you don't really care for music, do ya? Anyway, remember when I moved, and you and the holy dove, it moved too, and every breath we drew was hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hey, Stefan, Charlie. <laughs> Any request? Hmm? I'll have a list here. Hmm. How about um, I got American Pie, got 16 tons, and got a hanging tree. Hmm. House of the Rising Sun. Ah, here's what I want to do here. <laughs> if I can remember how to do it, let's see. I see me standing in the vaccine line. I love you, baby. What's on your mind? Oh, the damage done. Feeling fine, baby. What's wrong? What's the needle take another man? Oh, mom. Gone, gone. The damage done. I sing the song because with love I can. Maybe some of you don't understand. Milk, blood to keep from running out. We seen the needle and the damage done. Now there's a part of it in everyone. The drone crumb junkies are like set in silence. Vaccines are made of fetuses. Your feet shoot your children into your veins. Gone, gone, the damage done. We've seen the needle and the damage done. Now there's
just a part of it, everyone. Vaccine poison. Milk in our blood to keep from running Standing in the vaccine line. I love you, baby. What's on your mind? Oh, the damage done. All of you don't get that shot no more. Please don't get it no more. The ones that you have will be lucky to live. Damn lucky to live. I won't get into it too much. I'm just getting more trouble. I never tried to hurt you. I'm talking to local 2102, the steel workers and everybody at the mill, all the bosses, all of you, every one of you, all the way up, including the government, city government, Nick, state government and the federal government and which all that's out the window now it's all global right world economic forum 25 years later folks 25 years ago i was out there on the line I'm not talking to you, Steph, I and mean, Charlie. If you're my audience, I, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Talking to everybody else who ain't watching. Who should be watching. It's 25 years. This is the anniversary. 1,100 sons and daughters, sons and daughters of Pueblo, Colorado, stood up together and said, enough is enough. We changed history. what they were allowed to, what we were allowed to. I was out there, I was out there. I was on strike before we went on strike. I went out on stress. I came back just to make sure the strike happened, that's on record. I told them, that's the only reason I'm going back is because I gotta make sure the strike happens. And justice is served. And tyrants, tyranny does not succeed. It was a long strike, seven years. It's a long story. I came back and I went back out again after 911, 2001. And there's another whole long story. Lies in this country. Everything is lies. And don't dare tell the truth. <laughs> Now we have a chance to own that steel mill. And I, I just have to let it go because none of my friends will talk to me. I don't, God knows what they say about me. I dread to think the things that they say about me out there. They won't say them to my face and nobody asks me about my opinion. Nobody asks me what happened. Everybody goes by what somebody else says. Well, I'm here to tell you. Whatever you guys heard, I don't think it was my side of it. Anyway, been a long story, 25 years since 1997, October 3rd. I don't know if LU was out there. I was out there, there was three of us, I'll, I'll go ahead and say, that was out there long before. And we didn't have no international union, no local union, no management, nobody telling us what to do. We went out there because we knew it was the right thing to do. We were out handing out leaflets and flyers, telling everybody to get ready for a strike. We were doing that months before the strike. There was three of us who started, just out of, because we knew. Anyway, it was me, Martin Cole, Gilbert Lefebvre. That's who started. 
next thing I knew, Sam, Chris, young Mark, they came and talked to us out there while we were handing out stuff. And that's where it started that conversation right there. It's a long story, but nobody ever asked me about it. I was the one who was there, though. And they won't even mention my name. Out there at that steelworkers museum, we turned in Dad for the first steelworker of the year award, and steel hall, steelworker hall of fame. We were the only ones who complied with the rules. Dad was the only one who was legally entered and they would not give it to him. They extended the fucking. My grandfather, who has the same name, we all have the same name, see? That's the thing. They couldn't let Charlie Fetty or Charles Fetty. No. And then the next year, Grandpa was still alive. And they did the same thing again. Grandpa's dead now. Fuck that museum! I curse you. And that union hall, and that whole fucking mill, and all of you. Fuck you. That's all I gotta say. I'm done with y'all. 25 years, and you won't talk to me. You won't even acknowledge I exist. Because your boss told you to. Paid you to. You're disgusting. The worst union ever in all of history of unions. I don't know of another sorrier case, sad case, worthless case, worse than worthless. Sell out, sell out unions are the worst, you know. Anyway, I'm done. I'm going to go to the park and do my little concert today. Maybe I'll see some of you there. I don't know. I won't forget what we did. Maybe everybody will forget what I'm going to this. I don't know. Anyway, it happened. Whether you all like it or not, it happened. It all happened. And it's happening now. The Russians have to sell the mill because of the war. I told you all about this over six years ago. And now it's happening. And you still ignore me. You still put me out. Twenty-five years. I lost my house. Lost my wife. Evidently, I lost all my friends and most of my family too. I guess. That's a long story too. story that I guess will never be told. But who cares? Really. I tried. I tried. I tried to do what I thought was right. I tried to do it. I tried to give everybody a chance. You know, for the 20th anniversary, I was the president, and I gave you guys the tools you needed to fight back. I gave you charges. I gave you everything you needed. Evidence. Recordings everything you needed. And what did you do? You threw all that away and you threw me away too. Your friend, your brother, your president. Goddamn flies. Now I'm just a voice out here in the wilderness, shadow band. Nobody talks to me. I'm ostracized. I ride around on a tricycle like a mildly retarded old man. I'm not as retarded as you all think. At least I'm not a liar. I'm a sellout. Anyway, it's cool that I can go live again. Facebook's got me out of jail, I guess. Thank you, Facebook. Maybe I'll do a live show at the concert. The deal there. Anyway, we'll see y'all later. 
it's really good to see you, Charlie and Steph, and thanks for watching. I hope you like the music. If you ever want to hear something, just let me know. I got a lot of songs. Got Midnight Special, Everybody's a Star, all kinds of good stuff. Ghost Riders in the Sky, House of the Rising Sun. I got, I got these ones here that I wrote, see here. I got all these things here. They're all really good songs. I'll do one, I guess. I like that 16 Gun song. I like House of the Rising Sun, too. I like American Pie, too. That's a long song. <clears throat> Let's see, how's this going here?
songs here. This is a song that I wrote to my, my ex-wife when we were still married. What kind of the marriage, you know, anyway, everything's like marriage. Everything's like a job. Everything's like everything. Breathe. Do you feel 
will have threat to your ego. Did it feel like you might die? If you didn't let it go. And just let it go. So we sing the song of the irony of war. That we could be at least. It was the brightest day when. The darkest night of all. The darkest night of all. Yesterday, and I ain't going back and forth today. 
songs um i wrote this you know um it's it um i wrote this during the strike actually and uh during the labor dispute right at the turn of the century and uh it, the, the original copy of the song is still in the the piano at the hall I'm, if i you know that's where i put it i put it down inside there anyway just so there's a little secret that's out there there's some other little secrets too Now I wrote the first two verses of it. Now just recently I wrote the last two verses. So the, the first two ask a question, how long do angels live? And the last two attempt to answer that question. Maybe you like it. How long do angels live? of mankind I ask you the wise and the learned the fools the seeing and the blind what is good and evil have you eaten of that tree was the fruit sweet or vile did it enslave you or did it set you free If we could go back and choose again, I ask you the strong and the able, the weak and the king. Would you choose to live or eat the same tree again? To know good and evil, the serpent and the fire, the weed, the love, the fear, and the sin. How long do angels live? Oh. Every day is eternity, broken down for us, in pieces we can understand, and do with as we trust. Live your life as you must, my beloved, live your life
what is good and evil? Have you eaten of that tree? Was the fruit sweet or vile? Did it enslave you or did it set you free? How long do angels live? Oh, 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 oh. I've got this song, Money, that I want to do. That's Dad's song. Dad liked that song. I don't know if I, it's been so long since I've done it. I don't know if I can do that. It's pretty energetic. Money. 